we are joined by the Minister of State from the Ministry of Health today, Lieutenant Colonel Dr. Munga Tarsis, to give us an update of coronavirus in the country today. You're most welcome. Thank you very much. Yeah, we'll dive straight in. 14th March was the day we identified our first coronavirus infection in the country, and today four patients have been discharged. Um, please give us a clear picture of, of that. Are they corona-free now? Are there chances of reinfection? Yeah, th thank you very much. Uh, as of now, I think the coronavirus disease is a new uh, pandemic, which uh, researchers are still uh, doing more. Uh, mm. Okay, this okay more work to understand the epidemiology, the transmission, and the, uh, the trend of the disease. So for now, uh, we believe uh, uh, the current information we have, the people already discharged their disease free, and we believe that they are no longer transmitting the disease. Mm -hmm. Yes, but they can be be infected so far. But researchers are still uh, doing a lot of work to, to try to clarify if the, the acquired uh, antibodies can uh, protect them forever. Uh, so far, we, ha we, we have 98 patients already under follow-up, mm. but we believe today or tomorrow we can have uh, additional ones. Okay. So we're still uh, doing our work. We try to we we'll work with the population to, to trace those who have been in contact with the already positive cases. So the time will tell us what will be happening soon. So, so does that mean that the people that, the increasing numbers we are seeing, are they the ones that are already in isolation that you know about or there are new cases that you didn't know about? Yeah, some of them that are coming from the people who have been put in quarantines mm -hmm. because of the, back, the background of travel history. Mm. But there are some other people who are, uh, who are getting from the community because they have been in contact with those people bef because before we put them in quarantine, they are already in their home. Mm. So we still have some people at the community, the families who have been in contact with those people who are positive already have. Should the numbers keep increasing, are we well equipped to facilitate all these patients? Are there other facilities apart from the Kenya Hospital where they are currently being worked on? Uh, so far, we have two centers where we are putting, uh, we are treating, uh, confirmed the cases. Mm. Apart from Kenya, we have another center at Nyamata. Of, but we are still looking how to increase the capacity and the services be, uh, according to the increase of numbers. Mm. So I can say, until now, we are equipped to treat people who are, who are already positive and they have enough resources to make a good the tracing of those who have been in contact. Mm. But, uh, of course, we continue to build our capacity for now and the future, of course. As you said, this is a new disease that is still being studied. There are concerns of those that are already being discharged to face stigmatization from probably their communities. What is the message you're giving to Rwandans to treat uh, COVID-19 survivors, not like outcasts? Uh, yeah, of course. People, they are, they are trying to, okay, to bring some discussion on the disease. Mm. The coronavirus is not the first the, the virus in the, in the world. So there are many viruses already uh, happening. Also, we, we, believe, we live in, we live in. So they say uh, influenza, uh, HIV, those are the viruses that have been terrible in the last decade. But so we think it, it will be the same as those who have been uh, facing our, or, or, or uh, affecting the people in the last decade. So, coronavirus, of course, people they can fear at, for this time, but we believe that if we, have, we treat people correctly and we discharge them with disease free, so there's no longer a, a, a fear to, to be stigmatizing in the community. Yeah, and maybe as we conclude, have the measures that have been put in place so far by the government of Rwanda been effective in the further spread? So, if, if the population can observe them as have been <laughs> requested, so they can be effective. So far, the issues would be that we, we're seeing people moving around not respecting the, 
uh, staying at home as you requested for them. Mm. Just even those who are, who are going to market, they are still not respecting the distancing uh, procedures so, or measures we are putting in place, even though they are not already protected. So it means that if the measures are not uh, implemented correctly, of course they are not going to have uh, the immediate effect we, we want. But if there are people can uh, uh, implement them correctly, for sure we're going to have good results. What is your last message to Rwandans today? So my message to Rwandans is now, they, uh, I encourage them to continue to observe the, the measures we put in place to help us to contain the disease, to avoid the people contact to contact and to reduce the, the transmission rate and to work together get the information and the to, to call 114 when they have any problem so that things can be fixed. I hope we can get good results. All right. Thank you so much for your time, Dr. Munga Tarsis.